Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm going to be talking about the summer 2024 LEGO Harry Potter sets which were all just revealed and they look incredible. Before we get into it though, I do want to remind everyone that I am an employee of the LEGO group, however all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the LEGO group, and LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO group of companies which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. First up, we have Aragog in the Forbidden Forest, 195 pieces, $20, all of these sets release on June 1st. And this set's incredible. It's the best Aragog we've ever gotten. That thing looks really creepy. I've seen everyone like commenting on it and how scarily real it looks. It does look like a giant tarantula, you know? Like, I'm gonna build this thing and it's probably gonna freak me out to have it sitting on my desk after it's done. But it does look a lot like the smaller spiders. We've got Harry and Ron. I think those are new torsos. I don't think I've seen that torso on Ron for sure, but Harry's always wearing some kind of blue jacket, so his minifigures kind of all look the same. But yeah, okay, yeah, that picture, that's creepy. This is a really good spider. Whoever designed this should be really proud of how scary they got Aragog. So I'm really happy with that set. Even though I don't like spiders, it's definitely a good build. Next up, there's the Hogwarts Castle Potions class. This has 397 pieces. It's going to retail for $40, and a bunch of these are available for pre-order. Five of the eight sets can already be pre-ordered. So that's awesome, but... I don't know, like, this set for $40, I don't see the value there at all. I mean, how many pieces does it have? I know I just said. Okay, it has almost 400 pieces. But, I don't know, like, to me, this really looks like a $30 set, like, maximum. Like, honestly, more. Not 25 okay? That is a big structure. But, yeah, this looks like a $30 set, maybe 35 I thought it was at that new $38 price point, but 40 just seems a little bit much. However, I really, really like this set because it's got these brand new potions pieces, like with stuff erupting out of the cauldrons. That is really nice. Like, just that piece is nice. And then to get two different colors is awesome. We have a bunch of students, no Harry in this set though. Um, and I also really love that new giant potion bottle piece that Snape is holding. And you can see another one in a different color back here. So that piece is really cool. And it does have two new molds. So that's, honestly, that's nice. I mean, this is just a potions classroom set. Those are not like necessary molds for Harry Potter. It's not even like those new wand pieces that came out last year that you can attach spells to. Like those were really cool. These are like purely like cosmetic, you know, not really functional. They don't help you play like that much more than existing pieces. But I think it's really nice that they were made because they're so cool. And I love the little jars full of ingredients as well. I really like the new Hogwarts system, we're going to talk about that a little bit more later, but I hope that this can fit into it. I think I think it does. You can see rails here, and there are rails on like the sections that slide into the Great Hall. Oh, these pieces are even cooler than I thought. Like, they really have like spouts of liquid coming out. Okay, yeah, so this entire set folds up. Okay, sweet, I thought so, because it was so hinged, but yeah, it all folds up and I think it'll just slide into the Great Hall, so this is a... This is like a wonderful companion piece. Yep, that's exactly what it does. Amazing. Perfect. Beautiful. I love this new Hogwarts system so much. You have no idea. Like, ugh. I mean, honestly, I, I was going to say let's skip ahead to the Great Hall. But I like to go smallest to largest in terms of sets. So let's move on to the Advent Calendar. $45 coming on September 1st. Looks like a great Advent Calendar to me. I really like this Ghost Caroler, especially because I like that dress piece. And then, I mean, all of the minifigures, there's a bunch of exclusive torso prints, like with the house outfits, with the, uh, not the sweaters, the, the scarves, that's what I was trying to say. And I really like these brick-built mascots for the houses, like, well, I mean, that doesn't really look like a snake, that kind of looks like a bird, but I mean, I think that the brick-built mascots are really cool, these presents are an interesting shape, this wreath is nice, the little house tables. I think that this is a good advent calendar, and I think that's a new version of Dumbledore, so I do like this advent calendar quite a bit, and I think it's a good one. Next up we have Buckbeak, a buildable sculpture style set, 723 pieces for $60. This is the only one that I think isn't that great. It looks a little bit scary, and the proportions seem really off to me. Maybe it's just this one picture, but like the wings? They just feel strangely built, like I really don't like the use of these palisade bricks in them. I, I get that it's trying to make it look feathered, but I really would have just preferred smooth building. 
or maybe like some prints like some snot building you know like what we see with the Hedwig figures kind of like what's going on on the side of Buckbeak's neck here why couldn't we have gotten that on the wings they also look weird to me because it's got like the bottoms of the studs the anti-studs are facing forward and yeah it just it, it looks odd I also feel like they're way too small compared to the size of the build and yeah it's just the wings really bother me I feel like the body looks fine but it's the wings that kind of drag this whole thing down and then the head the head is okay but it doesn't look like how I expect Buckbeak to look like I expect like the feathers to be more feathery they look way too short to me it just it doesn't look like Buckbeak to me so this is a little bit better but again the head still feels really off I mean yeah okay the wings folded up is way better so I'll display mine like this because of course I'm gonna buy it I buy every Harry Potter set because it's my number one Lego theme but yeah this one is definitely kind of a miss to me but it's the only miss because I think all of the other sets are pretty great the other sculpture set we're getting is the Mandrake 579 pieces $70 too expensive why does it have 200 less pieces or I guess 150 ish less pieces than Buckbeak but it's $10 more that doesn't seem right to me I was gonna say maybe it's because these pieces are printed but they're not even printed they're stickers that's terrible in my opinion I mean $70 for this and these are all stickers like I expected the 2x6 tiles to be stickers but come on even like the windshields couldn't be printed I really like the use of that windshield piece for the leaves I think it looks amazing but print those at that price I do like the mandrake head I love the use of that heart piece for its nose it's just so perfect it's got a little thing of course another sticker over here I really feel like plaque style pieces like this now that they're all printed in UCS sets they should be printed in every set if they can print 8 by 16 tiles with them the smaller tiles can definitely be printed too and sculpture sets are very expensive because this is definitely not a $70 set and again at that price point I want all prints I do like the Mandrake I think it's well built um it's it's just so I feel like it really captures that like ugly like weirdness but then also coolness that they had in the movies and I really love like the roots on the hands the roots on the legs are perfect using those seaweed pieces and the pot looks really nice it looks a lot like the piranha plant pot from Super Mario to me um but oh it's it's also got some moving stuff so that's cool I saw someone say that the new sound brick should have been used for the mandrake like the sorting hat and I definitely think that I wish that there was like some kind of functionality to make it cry because the sorting hat which I just built it's really cool like the way it talks to you and I feel like that really would have elevated this mandrake set too so I think this is a good idea for a sculpture set you know it's leaning into this themed botanicals thing that Lego has started doing which I do really like as a concept because the botanical sets are amazing and so doing them for licensed themes is a great idea but it needs to be a lower price or be like a more deluxe set by having everything be printed and you know have some kind of functionality like the sound brick to justify that price for me next up we can see that we are continuing with the minifigure compatible size Diagon Alley instead of like the huge which also it's also minifigure compatible but the huge direct-to-consumer series with those two sets this is Ollivander's and Madame Malkin's robes 744 pieces for $90 so it's the same price as last summer's Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, but you get, well, you got two buildings in that set, but you get two big buildings in this set. And I wish we got a direct-to-consumer version of Madame Malkin's because I want more direct-to-consumer Diagon Alley sets. That series is just so good, those two sets. But this is really cool. I love the purple, especially the purple for those windows for Madame Malkin's. Ollivander's looks fantastic. Like, it does look a lot like the direct-to-consumer version, but like perfectly simplified it's still got a lot of detail but it's definitely like much more playset level than you know adult collector level and i i really like having two versions of the same thing on shelves for that because i want the adult collector version but i also want the playset version so i'm i'm like lego's ideal consumer to be honest especially for harry potter sets i also love these signs for the other buildings i hope this is a tease of what's to come like i would love to get again like smaller not direct to consumer versions of all of these shops that we've already seen in the bigger sets 
and I can't wait to put this next to my uh, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. So I'm in Michigan right now, but um, these sets will be coming out when I'm back at my apartment in California. So I am definitely going to make sure I bring home or bring to California some of these sets from home so that I can do comparisons there. The interiors, this is my first time seeing them. I really like everything you get with Madame Malkins, like the solid minifigure heads. You get multiple torsos, hats. I really like the capes. We'll talk about the minifigures in a second, although I think they look great. And Ollivander's just looks insane in the best way. I mean, it doesn't have a full second floor. So like, I love the interior of like the direct-to-consumer Ollivander's, but this one, again, way better for play. Look at all of those freaking wands. Those are all new molds. I'm assuming they come in like an accessory pack style thing, like some of those Ninjago pieces. And I don't like the super obvious mold marks on all of them, but the shapes are incredible. There's so many different shapes. There's like one, two, three, four. Uh, no, that's not a fifth. Five different shapes, I think, or six different shapes. There's five or six different wand shapes here. And or maybe even more. I, I can't wait to get them in hand and be able to see it more clearly because they are becoming like too big again. Like these wands are the perfect size. These ones are definitely, again, just inching into being too big. But when they're this detailed and this unique, I will take it. Like it looks so cool. And other people have pointed out that this one is like a snake head piece. So I bet Lucius Malfoy is gonna be wielding that wand in the next set that he comes in. Hopefully in like dual molded black and silver, but probably just black because I don't think that that piece could be dual molded. But yeah, this is just incredible. Love all the wand boxes. It still has like the little checkout counter. I mean, just all of these new pieces are are amazing. And it's like the Diagon Alley style Harry. Um, I love the Madame Malkin minifigure. Like she looks fantastic. I love the purple. I didn't realize her shop was this purple. I don't know who this is in the wheelchair, but I like that we're getting it in brown. Oh, and there's the printed galleon piece. And I think that's just a random witch, or do we have names on the box? Like, can I see? Oh no, it just says wizard and witch. And oh, I think that's one of the Petil twins. So that's cool. Um, oh, it does show it. Yep, it shows it connecting with Weasley's Wizard Weezes. I will go with that suggested connection method. But yeah, I mean, just give me more of these sets. I feel like for $90, this is a pretty decent set, so I'm happy with this. Next up, we have a highly requested set, Triwizard Tournament, The Arrival, 1,229 pieces, 140 US dollars, and it's the Durham Strength ship, finally. It looks beautiful. It's so much better than the last one, because the last one used a bunch of like just regular hull pieces. This just looks like a dream come true to me. Like I, I'm I'm over the moon with this thing. And it does come with the Bobaton carriage as well. And I don't know, I mean, I was like, isn't it too soon for another one? But no, the last one was five years ago. So I really think that this is a great set to combine the two of them. This box art is beautiful and amazing. This ship, it's just so, so good to me. Like, these are all stickers. I feel like they should all be prints if they're repeated that often, but like the way the hull is built up, it just looks gorgeous. Like this looks like a model ship. It doesn't even look like a Lego ship. It looks like a little wooden model ship that you would put on a shelf. That's how well shaped the hull looks to me, at least from pictures. So, or not pictures, cause these are renders. So they aren't like the actual bricks, I think. But yeah, all of the minifigures look fantastic too. I think that's Barty Crouch Sr. So that's a very interesting minifigure to get for the first time. Victor Crumb looks excellent. I love his leg printing. Karkaroff, is that a new hairpiece or is that or is that that hairpiece from Friends? I, I don't know, but he looks perfect to me. Uh, Fleur is basically the same as the last one, which was an excellent figure, so no complaints there. And then uh, Madame Maxime now has legs, like the long Avatar style legs instead of a dress. And so I do like that update for her as well. And I like that we got the Goblet of Fire and the Triwizard Cup. Now, again, I haven't taken a big, like uh, any great detailed look at these images, but 17 and a half inches is pretty good height. There is an interior, perfect. There's a pretty decent interior, it looks like, and I love, oh, those couldn't be prints because those are, that same design is on different pieces. Okay, so that's fine. The shields could have been printed though. I think those are all stickers. I'll stop complaining now, but um, I, I, I just, I prefer printed shields. Those are like really nice when they're exclusive prints. 
Uh, but the captain's cabin looks great. I like the interior where Victor is. The Bobaton carriage, I think it's small. It's definitely smaller than the last one, but I don't think it's that much smaller. It looks to be a pretty comparable size. I think it's just missing that kind of second level that the other one had. So I think I think that this is a great set. I'm very happy with it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, just look at it in person with these children playing with it. It's so majestic. I can't wait to get this and build it. And finally, we have Hogwarts Castle, the Great Hall, 1,732 pieces, 200 US dollars. Oh my god. I love the new Hogwarts system. I think it's the greatest system that LEGO has done for Hogwarts sets yet. I will talk about it when I do a video with like the uh, Boathouse and Owlery sets that just came out. I haven't gotten around to that yet, but I was waiting for something like this. I could just tell from those two sets that we were probably going to get something really cool this summer. And to see the Great Hall done like this, it's insane. Like, I think that this is as big as like that half of the direct to consumer set that had the Great Hall. You know, like one of my favorite sets, the 2018 Hogwarts Castle. But this is like minifigure level. And so you're going to get like, you're going to get an architecturally accurate Hogwarts for the first time in minifigure scale. That's just so thrilling to me. I mean, look at this thing. Getting the cliffs, it's got the courtyard, it's got like the little, I think that's where Filch's office is. You even have like this little balcony. There's a new troll in this set, but we'll talk about the minifigures in a little bit. The only thing, like I do think the exterior of the Great Hall could be a little bit better. This tower is way too blocky. That should be much more round, so I'm a little bit put off by that. Like when I look at the whole thing, I'm like, that's beautiful, except for this kind of an eyesore right there so i might modify that if i can um and i do like shouldn't shouldn't there be arches here like in all the windows and i know this is supposed to be stained glass like with these black window panes i'm okay with not having the stained glass in a minifigure compatible set but i need the arches like it is a little bit too blocky i mean but i don't even need the arches here i think it's really this thing that throws off the look but it should be like a little bit softer, a little bit more rounded. Because I think it's supposed to like mimic the windows in the courtyard over there. So that's a little bit disappointing because this set I think is almost perfect. It's just those things that I noticed that kind of keep it from being perfect for me. Again, at least from images, maybe I'll feel differently when I've built it. But look at the interior. So Sorcerer Stone up there, night sky represented with like the backs of plates and everything. like. Yeah, the backs of plates aren't that pretty to look at, but this is amazing that we have the blue sky, the moon, the clouds, the floating candles, the house banners. We have a couple of tables. I saw some people complaining about the interior saying like it's still not perfect. You don't have four separate tables. The teacher's area isn't raised up. I agree with that. I wish the teacher's area was elevated. It's just a little bit like a couple of plates. One plate even would have like, I think, elevated it properly four separate tables would have been nice because the last great hall we got did have four separate small tables that chamber of secrets great hall set so again little touches like that could make it even better but for the most part this set is just amazing i think it's also missing the fireplace on the wall so it's not perfect but for me, this set is at least a 9 out of 10 just from images. And if those things really bother me, I'll just modify it. I don't usually modify my sets like that much and not to such a little extent, but I might roll the dice on this one. The cliff base, I never thought we would get LEGO sets that made that like gave us cliff bases because now every subsequent set needs to have some kind of rocky base so i bet we get a new chamber of secrets that's like all rock from the exterior with like another set that you can put on top of it and i hope that lego goes the distance with this i hope that this is the system for the next three to four years and i want the marble staircase tower i want the astronomy tower i want the bell towers i want everything and i want rocky stuff to complete it like to me this is the ideal system take a 40 dollars set like the potions class and then have that be the base of like an $80 set. And then you can just put it all together and it's going to be amazing. I love this thing so much. Like the whole concept, the execution. This is what I've been waiting for from LEGO Harry Potter. And I have liked the Hogwarts systems. I liked the 2018 one. I even liked the 2021 system like after 2021, like with the 2022 and 2023 sets. 
but this has just blown them out of the water to me. I really hope we see this standard continued. So anyway, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about LEGO Harry Potter. I love this section with like the troll in the bathroom. This is a great little play area and that troll looks pretty good. I don't like its head. I wish it had a regular minifigure head like the old troll so you can move it because I think the head just looks a little bit too weird, but the rest of it is pretty good. No movable legs, but I mean, I kind of expected that for such like a custom molded piece like this. And then you do get a bunch of collectible minifigure portraits. And this area seems to be another little, oh no, it's not a classroom. I think it's the Hufflepuff common room because it's got their colors. So if that's the case, that's really nice. Um, and again, these things just slot into like the underside of the Great Hall. But what I'm wondering is we saw with the potions classroom that the potions classroom is supposed to fit here, but the common room fits here. So I'm not loving that. Like, where am I going to put my common room once I put the potions classroom in there? Is it just going to be floating off to the side forever? I honestly kind of wish that space was left empty, like just to accommodate the potions classroom, because I don't want to have extra stuff like the Hufflepuff common room just sitting around with nowhere to go. But again, obsessed with this thing. I'm obsessed with the cliffs and how the interiors are like swappable. So there's still some modularity, even though the castle itself has lost all modularity. It is now designed to be connected in only one way. And you can see that with these bars right here. Whoops, sorry. Um, with these bars right here, there's more coming. And I can't, I can't wait to see what they've cooked up. I'm like, I'm so, so excited. Uh, this is still the back. No, no, this is the front. Oh, so there's like hidden areas. Oh, this is cool. This is awesome. Like you can move these things. They connect with the same clips. So maybe there is a little bit of modularity because you can move these clips around, it looks like. But yeah, I just, I can't wait. Um, troll, glad we're getting it. Dumbledore looks good. I think that's new. Quirrell again. I don't know who that professor is. I'll have to look them up. A bunch of the children. Uh, I think that's the fat friar, the Hufflepuff ghost. So very nice. We just need the bloody baron now and then all of the house of ghosts will be completed yep you can see how the boathouse connects right there oh, i'm just i'm so so obsessed with this this is what i've been waiting for but yeah from this angle it looks way too blocky that tower is really bothering me the rest of it's okay it's just this tower that i feel like the ball was really dropped on i don't know why it looks that square um yeah, the more I look at it, the more I just hate that one tower, but everything else is is really, really good. Oh, and there's the potions classroom being added. Like, it fills up the space so well, and then the fact that you can just slide them out and, like, play with them. Oh my god, the fat fire can even, like, levitate above everything. Oh, this is amazing, guys. Like, this, this is it. There's no video. There's no 360 degree video, but I love what LEGO is doing in 2024. I really feel like so many themes are peaking. After a couple of years of like mixed bags for Harry Potter, and in my opinion for Marvel, the Marvel sets aren't on the shop website yet, but when they are, I'll make a video. I really just feel like we are in like another golden era of Lego this year in particular, with these summer sets, with what we got in the spring, and hopefully with what's coming in the fall, I have no idea what else we're gonna see, but if it's as strong as these summer sets, I have high hopes. Because, of course, we always get like a Harry Potter and a Marvel direct-to-consumer set now. So I'm really eager to see what we're going to get for Harry Potter this year. So let me know what you guys' favorite set is in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And check out my website, goldenninja3000.com. And I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.